guys. I wanted to show you how, how I've, I've been doing this. I don't know how you guys do it. You guys that are paracordists. Um, well, obviously you got huge amounts of paracord you got to deal with, so I, I band them up in skeins so I can just pull it out as I need. And then what I've been doing is I'm actually, rather than manipulating the, the skein so much, as you can see they're kind of floppy and it's hard to tell what's going on with them, is once I've got my loop, I, I'm reaching through my loop and coming up over. That way I know I, I'm going to get it right. And then I'm just pulling the other one through. And then I snug it up, obviously. Right? So, repeat on this side. It would be like this. Then I come through, I come around, I grab. And then, because I can't, as I get closer and closer, I've been finding very difficult to get these huge bunches through. <laughs> so, this is what I came up with. And it seems to work pretty good because even though it's just a confusion of the same color paracord when you look at this big bundle of it, so every time I'm doing this, it, to, for me to actually try and find it later is hard, but if I just dive through there and kind of roll open, I'm getting it. But, um, yeah, I was also curious if, uh, how fast do people get at this? Because I'm thinking, man, I mean, if people are making these things for a living, how fast are they going? Because this is so time-consuming, even a simple thing like a, a Cobra which doesn't require nearly the kind of plier type snugging that a, a round braid does but I'm still finding it's taking me a fair amount of time and then once they get a little short I just tug a little more out of them you know, and I'm wondering how fast people get with this I'm trying to see how fast I can do without screwing up you know but I find that if I got the thing like this, I can get right through. I'm not too worried about screwing up how I do the knot. I just kind of go through. As you can imagine, if I wasn't yakking away here, I might be able to make some progress doing it like that. <laughs> oh, paracord, huh? So that's my technique anyway. I'm lanyard, you know, to the desk, to my belt. And I'm just sitting here in a comfy chair. It's not a comfy chair, let me tell you. This is one of the most painful and uncomfortable chairs I've ever used in my life. But I just am stuck with it. So even if you drop all your crap on the ground, it doesn't really matter. Pull them back up. I don't know. I'm getting to the end here. It's very exciting for me. Then I'm going to turn around and go back the other way. <laughs> oh, I screwed up. I screwed up. Well, that's easy to fix, though, you know? That's what's nice about a Cobra. It's so obvious when you screw up. It's super, super obvious. Okay. There we go. All right. So, uh, enough of that. I know you guys don't need to see me doing paracord all night long. But, uh, yeah. The skein and using your hand as a shuttle back and forth it seems to work better for me than trying to poke the bundles through or whatever and I'm sure as hell I'm not going to pull 50 feet of paracord through each time <laughs> you know, that would be nuts but uh, yeah I'm getting pretty good results I think I'm able to go pretty fast I've only been at this about a half an hour an hour whatever I lost track I've been at it for a while 